Hello, everyone. I am very excited today to talk about Professor Raymond Dart. Dart was an Austrian-born South African paleoanthropologist. Dart's discovery of Tong Child and the naming of Australopithecus africanus was not just another find, but a game changer that forced researchers to question existing paradigms in the study of human origins. Dart demonstrated that large brain was not a sine qua non for being a member of the human lineage. For the first time, Dart showed that even with a small brain, you can join the human family tree if you have upright walking. Dart also placed Africa on the paleoanthropological map despite the intense challenges and resistance he had faced from his colleagues, some of them very prominent. His work also inspired many, many pioneers in South and Eastern Africa, Louis Leakey included, who followed on his footsteps to demonstrate that Africa was indeed the cradle of humankind. Since it was published in 1925, the Tongue Child has played a major role in our understanding of early hominins, not least in serving as the holotype of the genus Australopithecus. Our knowledge of the paleobiology of Australopithecus has, of course, dramatically changed over the hundred years following the discovery. Today, we know that Australopithecus, which contained multiple species, was a pan-African genus spanning geographically from Chad to Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, all the way down to South Africa. Australopithecus, which lived from 4.2 to 2 million years ago, practiced both habitual bipedality and arboreality. This allowed Australopithecus to successfully exploit diverse habitats and food resources. Australopithecus also seems to have had the capacity to use stone tools to at least occasionally consume animal resources. More on Australopithecus can be found in a review paper that I recently pu published in Nature. I must also underscore that all the knowledge on Australopithecus, which was at the cusp of being human, was made possible thanks to the funding agencies like the Leakey Foundation and the efforts of many scientists and their support staff. And the pioneering work of Raymond Dart holds a very special place. I hope that you enjoy this historic lecture on a pivotal discovery by an extraordinary paleoanthropologist. Thank you.